Does your knock fit correctly? That's a great question and you should find out because it's much more fun when it does. What's up guys, thanks for joining us today here on Shatterproof Archery. Today we're gonna go over how to make sure your knocks fit correctly, how to adjust it. There's three different major ways that you can adjust your knock fit. Bad or improper knock fit causes all sorts of problems. Too tight of a knock fit wears the serving down, it can cause wrist slap, it'll slow the arrow down, and could possibly also cause a left to right miss if it's oscillating while the knock is still on the string. It comes off the bowstring with more wobble and inconsistency in the shot, and there's more hand shock when you shoot the bow. All of these problems happen. We tested all this in the last video. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check it out. Uh, the other thing is too loose of a knock fit causes many problems. A too loose of a knock fit will cause, it can be dangerous, and it will cause your shots to be inconsistent. The knock could slide up and down on your serving, causing inconsistency, and there's also uh, knock hammering when you release the string, which could be a major another problem. So if you want proper knock fit, this is how to get it. And if you wanna see us testing and showing all of the downsides to improper knock fit, check out the last video. Let's jump right into it. Here's a way to test and see if your knock fits correctly. Knock the arrow on the bow and turn the bow upside down. If it stays on, it's not too loose. This one's too small, so it doesn't want to stay. If it falls off, it's much too loose. Now twist the string and see if the arrow swings side to side. If the arrow doesn't swing side to side, it's not too tight. If it does swing side to side, it's too tight. All right, now for the upside down for this string, this knock fit is much too tight. So it's gonna stay upside down, but now I'm going to twist the string and watch how much the arrow swings back and forth. It's just twisting the string just a little bit. So that shows that your knock fits too tight. And that's not good. Next, turn your bow like this. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and grab the arrow and try and twist it side to side. If the fletching moves a bunch, it's too loose. So when you knock it on, you don't want your fletching to be able to move. So I'm just twisting the shaft of the arrow a little bit and the fletching is moving. So this one's obviously too loose. The fletching just accentuates the movement. Yeah, yeah you can just see the movement in the fletching. Knock it on, trying to twist the shaft of the arrow and... Much less movement. You don't hardly have any movement at all. Next, pull in and out and see if there's a gap between the throat and the string. If there's a gap between the throat and the string, it's too loose. Small, so when we knock it on, there's a gap there between the string and the throat, and you want that to sit in there tightly. Should be touching like that. If there's no gap, it's not too loose. This is how you want it to fit. You want it to click on, there'd be no gap between the throat and the string. Now you know how to test and see if it's too loose or too tight. So, let's say it's too loose or too tight, what do you do? Great question, I'm glad you asked. If your knock fit is too loose, there is three major solutions you can do. You could add thicker serving, you could add padding underneath your serving, or you could get smaller knocks. We have different sizes of serving material. So this is, I believe, 21 thousandths of an inch. This right here is 18 thousandths of an inch. You can see here on power grip, it goes from 9 thousandths of an inch all the way up to 32 thousandths of an inch on the thickness. Uh, poly grip is 20 thousandths to 25 thousandths of an inch. So you can use this to your advantage to get your knocks fitting correctly. What you can also do is make sure you get high quality serving material. We get everything from BCY. We really like um, poly grip, power grip, um, 62XS. 62XS, Halo, they have a bunch of really good stuff. And, um, but good serving material will last three, four, five times um, compared to like this stuff right here. They have this in red and black um, from Amazon. I've tested it and it's the cheapest stuff you can find. Um, but that is for a reason. It's just because it'll last three times shorter. So if, you are, if you're okay changing it all the time, that'll work okay. But if you want something that comes off the string better, um, we like BCY stuff. We sell some on our website or you can get it everywhere. And by comes off the string better, he means doesn't come off the string at all. The arrow comes off the string uh, better. <laughs> like it's smoother. Stays yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the bowstring shop and let's say your serving size is too small. I'm gonna show you a trick to make it larger. <laughs> trick number one. Let's say you're using the same serving material. One thing you can do is when you're serving normally, you put about an inch or two over to the left before you start twisting. For the knotless serving method, uh, not link in description to a full video on serving material. Exactly. 
So that's what you would normally do in the knock, where you're going to knock your arrows down here. So if we need to make it thicker, all we have to do is take this like six inches down, as far down as you're going to knock, and just let that be your starting point. And I'm going to serve over top of the serving material all the way down, and that's going to make it thicker. The downside to that is it's not perfectly round. So if you want a way to do a little bit more round, let me show you. You just grab some bowstring material. The bowstring material tends to work the, the best because it's the same type of material and you can get a quarter pound spool for $15 uh, from BCY on Amazon. So I'm going to grab some bowstring material, I'm going to lay it along my string, grab some wax, and really get it to become one with the string. The only issue with this is if you don't really get it to become one with the string when you're serving it, if you're using a serving jig, it can pull up the string. And if you want to go real crazy, you can um, separate your Flemish twist and put it into one of the one of the strands. Here's the here's how I would use this method. I've had some people request um, specific knock fits, so we can add a full strand to the full string if you're making making your own bowstring, or you can just add the strand in the middle of the process. One way I like to do that is to go ahead and loosen up the string, and then I'm gonna undo this Flemish twist and. Let's separate the black and the red because that's going to make it easier. That's how this one was twisted. So once this is separated, I can pull this full section down and I'm going to add this pink to the red. Like that. And then when you take the bowstring and twist it back up, that pink is fully inlaid into the red where you need it. And obviously the color doesn't matter in this scenario. See, now I just have this tag end right here of the pink. Trim that tag end off, and you can trim it off on the other end. But from there, when you start your serving, now you're going to have a perfectly round center section that you can serve right over top. Go all the way down, pull your tag end out, you know, finish off your serving. But there, it's perfectly round. If you just lay it on top, it may not be perfectly round, and especially if you use serving material, but if you, if all you have is serving material, I would still unlay it, because that's gonna make it more round than if you don't. Good point. I've got one other thing. So whether you are using serving material or not, the tighter you wrap the serving material around the bowstring, the smaller the serving material is gonna be, and the looser you do it, the tighter it's gonna be. So, for example, and that changes the diameter in exactly. real time. It changes the diameter. So I'm wrapping this around loosely right now. And you'll see the knock fit when we test it. It's very, oh, we got the extra in there, so it's super tight. Yeah, this is a normal spring too. Anyway, t do it too tight show the difference. It should, should be proper here in a second. So it's very tight. But now when I tighten it down... Don't need a serving check. And test it. Now it's proper knock fit. So you can see the difference here, it'll slide around here, barely slides around much tighter when they come off. That's proper knock fit. And that's only by adjusting the tightness. With this method of making the serving tighter to make the diameter smaller, uh, you do have to be a little bit careful with for two reasons. One, too loose of serving. If you wrap it really, really loose, it could come unraveled later on. That's not good. You want it to be tight. So maybe instead of loose, we should have said medium to tight, but also too tight could be bad. What can happen is the serving material can break. Polygrip has, I believe, a 30 or it might be 35 pound tensile strength. So pulling it apart, it'll break at 30 to 35 pounds. Whereas 62XS, something we would use on fast flight or 652 Spectra strings, has much higher, it's, I think it's closer to 70 pound tensile strain, so twice as strong. So you could tighten that type of serving material down, but at times if we've tightened it down too much and we start spinning that on a serving jig, the serving material can break because your serving jig is so tight, it creates more stress on the serving than the material can actually handle. So you can adjust it a little bit for sure, but also at the same time, don't go too loose. And if you go too tight, you'll find out and have to redo it. So here's an example of going too tight. If you tighten it down too tight and it wants to recoil backwards like that, that's, that's gonna be just too tight for you. And too loose, if you're using a serving jig, it's going to want to unravel off of the string. So see that right there? See how it unravels? That means it's too loose. 
and even in between too loose and too tight, you still have play, but those are the downsides if you loosen it too loose or too tight. Depends on the serving material, but it doesn't take too much to break it a lot of times, especially, I mean, 35 pounds. So doing it too tight can end up breaking it. So you just wanna be careful with that. Not a big deal, because it didn't damage the string, you just redo the serving. So if your knock fit is too tight, there's three solutions. Use a smaller diameter of serving, use larger knocks, or you can get a bowstring with a lower strand count. Buy a shatterproof archery bowstring and ask for the exact knock fit that you need. Because they can do that, can't they? We'll have to ask, but I think they do stuff like that. No, like... <laughs> oh, they can ask for <laughs> You're the one filming? <laughs> No, I think Shatterproof does stuff like that. They're pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> He's in the, what did I say, the 5,000 string club? You've made over 5,000? I have made quite a few strings. <laughs> but even if your bowstring breaks, like you cut it with a knife, like our friend did the, the other week, <laughs> careful using scissors opening your package because you might cut the string. Hey, but if you do, it's on, we'll us. it's on us. We'll replace it. No worries. If you need a custom bowstring or serving material, you can go to our website, shatterproofarchery.com, and we've got all of that for you. Thank you so much for being here, and remember, you don't need a perfect knock fit to have fun, but to have perfect fun, the knock must fit. Stay shatterproof. We'll see you on the next one.